Welcome to a problem solving moment for the classroom. This time I have a very basic question, but it's actually one that should come up. We work in a system of mathematics that's base 10. When I say 173, I literally say 107ty, that's actually short for 10, and 3. So I've got hundreds, tens, and ones. So here's my question. Why base 10? Why do we work in base 10? That's my problem. It's not actually a mathematical problem, it's more for the humanists within us. I've got a very interesting question. So what, how can we figure out why we chose base 10? Now, one strategy is because just do something. You just Google it, go to the computer and type in the question, see if that comes an answer. But also think about it. Think about it. Let's, let's employ strategy number eight, which is to second guess the author. We're the authors of that question. We chose base 10. So why do we humans choose base 10? What makes us naturally think 10 in our humanness? If you mull on that for a while, you naturally think this. Of course, we humans have a predilection for the number 10 because we see it each and every day in our fingers. Now what's curious though, not every culture went base, base 10 in this human world of ours. Some cultures actually work base 20. Where did that come from? Base 20? Well obviously they must have been thinking of their fingers and toes. I guess you can't see my toes. So base 20, if you happen to be in a culture where you think about fingers and toes, base 10 if you happen to be in a culture where you think about just fingers alone. But actually, there's something interesting here. Uh, there's vestiges of base 20 in our Western culture. If you speak French, I'm going to ask you, how do you say the number 87 in French? Now, I don't speak French at all, so I'm about to, I'm about to really butcher this. But I believe it's 87, which literally translates as 420s and 7. There it is. That's actually base 20. In fact, for the Americans amongst us, how does the Gettysburg Address begin? Look it up. And I want to know how many years ago Abraham Lincoln was talking about in that Gettysburg Address. That's another little problem. Do something about it, go look it up. Good stuff. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.